I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself. I mean, it's a safe space if you like to share. No. I mean, I got thick skin, so I no, don't know what you're good, afraid good. of. No, it's giving church. So okay. that's okay. all. Got to one. She mentioned that I seem as though I take myself too seriously or I might be a churchy type guy. And I thought to myself, what the hell does that even mean? Like, it makes no sense. It's August. He got a turtleneck on. He got a, he got a, he got a blazer on. He got a bunch of stuff on. Like... You're not my type either. You know what I'm saying? And then you carry in a purse, a statue, whatever you want to call it. It looked like it's supposed to be a Bible in there. So pretty much, yeah. Don't don't be mad at me. Y'all y'all push it out. Go ahead. Yeah. Next contestant. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's jump right into this with this new sensation called Pop the Balloon. I've, I'm sure most of you have seen it already. If you hadn't, then this is something you need to start checking out. I mean, it's getting so popular now. It's popped balloon, Africa, Jamaica, Nigeria, somewhere in the states. I don't. Every time I turn on, it's a different one connected to it, but doing the same thing. So I ran up on this one. I thought would be kind of neat. Check out. So let's roll through it and let's check it out. But don't forget hit that subscribe, like, and share, and definitely turn on your notifications because we're gonna be doing a few of these. Gotcha. Let's get it. All right, let's bring the first single man. Wow, he all in that one. But yeah, brother. All right, all right. So who do we have here? Can you say your name and age? My name is Chad Brown, and I'm 32. All right, so Chad Brown, what is your occupation? I work Damn. in finance, and I do consulting on the side as well. Okay, finance and consulting. Um, so what brings you here today? Well, you know, I've been single for a little while now, and I'm just looking for a woman that uh, can, you know, help me be a better man. Okay, woman. That will help him be a better man. Okay, so what is your ideal woman? Looking for a woman who is intelligent, sweet, um, nurturing, kind, um, and also has a sense of humor. Okay, all right. All right, now, do you have any deal breakers? <laughs> Cigarettes. If you smoke cigarettes, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot definitely understand be associated that. with you. <clears throat> Dang. Okay. Damn. Okay. All right. So we have a few pops here. Let's go ahead and figure out why they popped the balloon. All okay. right. Okay. We'll start here. Can you please introduce yourself and name and age? Yes. Hi. My name is Miss Juella Deville. I'm Pleasure 34. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. And I pop because you're younger than me. So oh, you know, I heard her talk earlier and I thought she was from the island somewhere. Was she from New Jersey? Jersey talking like that. Maybe she's maybe she lives there. Maybe she's still from an island somewhere, but she has a heavy accent. I didn't think it was just in the U.S., but she's a real thick bottom half lady. The upper half is small, but the bottom. Uh, I, I'm into like older guys, not saying you're immature or it takes away from you, but I like older. I appreciate that. Yeah. But you, you're handsome. Your your gear is flies, you know, you. like that. Yeah, that's Thank super And nice, I right? love everything about your swag. Thank you. What Okay. Right. Now I know she popped, but is she your type. She's very attractive. The gum popping, and the eyelashes that would have did it for me. I know a lot of people don't think so, but the popping, just chewing the gum the way she's chewing it, and those big big eyelashes. I let's real turn off for me, so I don't know. I, that's a pet peeve of my own. Thank you. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Let's let's go ahead and move on. <laughs> let's keep moving. Okay. Can you please introduce yourself? Your name. Please. Uh, yeah. My name is Maya, and I'm 31. I only pop my balloon because he said he doesn't like girls that smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I smoke like I smoke, so you know. You smoke weed? Yeah. That's totally fine. No, but you know, sometimes the tobacco yeah. smell kind of mixes in. It kind of no, smells like cigarettes sometimes. I don't know how you feel about that. So overall, that's why I popped. Okay, understood. Okay. okay. You know are you are you fine with smoking marijuana? Her smoking marijuana? Yes. Okay. So <laughs> so you don't have any problem with marijuana. Okay. The only problem you have is cigarettes. Okay. Is that that's cool. okay? That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, would you like her to pick up her balloon? If she would like to. Okay, no, you have, you have oh, okay, to pick okay. up again. Okay, okay, that's All right, can we, get, can we get her a balloon? Can we get her a balloon? All right, okay. There you go. We'll get bring that her back, balloon. brother. All right, okay. All right, we have a pop here as well. Mm -hmm. All right, can you I think with a lot of this, that the ladies be so 
ready to hear something that they just pop. And it's like the guy's going to come down. So wait and ask him something. Then pop. But they. I think they try to get a reaction so fast that they don't stop to think. And it's like, mm, are you really here to see somebody or are you just here to get your, you know, try to get you a viral moment and and get famous? You know what I mean? That's where it come off a lot. But look at this. Chick. You introduce yourself, name and age. My name is Camilla and I am 35 years old. I did not. Well, I popped my balloon because you're too young. OK. OK. All right. All right. Um, I mean, is she your type? Not exactly. Not exactly. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Why is he here? She look old at thirty-five. Um, he's just not my type. I like. I like a little. You know. I don't know. <laughs> you like a little? No, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not. You can be it. honest. It's a safe space. No, you. You look like a nice, a nice looking young man. You go to church? I was raised religiously, but I don't continue okay. um. to go. I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. I mean, it's a safe space if you like to share. No. I mean, I got thick skin, so I don't no, know what you're afraid of. Yeah, what we call no, old souls. Church. So, that's <laughs> all. Got to one. She mentioned that I seem as though I take myself too seriously, or I might be a churchy type guy. And I thought to myself, what the hell does that even mean? Like, it makes no <laughs> sense. It's August. He got a turtleneck on. He got a, he got a, he got a blazer on. He got a bunch of stuff on, like. You're not my type either. You know what I'm saying? And then you carry in a purse, a statue, whatever you want to call it. It looked like it's supposed to be a Bible in there. So pretty much, yeah. Don't don't be mad at me. Y'all, y'all push it out. Go ahead. No. Next contestant. Okay. Damn, she got a okay. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Well, defensive right, quick. Yourself, name, and age. Yes, I am Tia. I'm 32. I'm from New York. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and why did you probably balloon today? Um... I tried to wait a little while, but I feel like you may take yourself a little too serious for me. Okay. I don't really know, but that's the impression I get. But you look nice. Like, I don't that made you no good. sense. All right. Now, apart from that, him taking himself too seriously, that's your thing, right? Mm -hmm. Is he your type? Uh, well, I don't really have a type, but um, he's handsome. He's well-dressed. That's two of my like main things that I like about Thank a man. You. So. Okay. All right. Now, is she your type, though? She is. Wow. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, she popped her balloon. Yeah. But we'll go back. I know okay. there was a few that also. It's crazy how when women are always talking about what type of man they want and this and this and this, you don't really want them because these type of men that y'all say y'all want these men that making so much money, professional, travel, do all this stuff. They're like this dude. They well dressed. They do take things serious, but they do know how to go have fun. But they're not your everyday hang out in the club and street dudes. So you guys want all that plus this. You're not going to find it. Like she said, she don't have a type. Everybody has a type. If you don't have a type, then you probably don't have no one. That's just the way I look at it, because you got to have something to narrow it down to what I actually like and be with. But. I don't know. Let's check the rest of mine. This this chick here with these bad legs right here. I don't know what's going on with that. But she just look a little old. That golden outfit, that little short outfit thing here. She just talked like an older woman, like somebody's auntie, like one of them 40-year-old aunties, you know, going on 45. She's kind of talked like them. Pop their balloons here. Um, these two ladies, let's go ahead and figure out why. Jordana, correct? Jordana, yes. Jordana. Like a school teacher. Yes, I'm Jordana. I'm 33. Mm -hmm. um, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with your preference of smoking, but I am not a smoker. Um, so that's that's what weed or cigarettes just oh. is not it's not for me. But you're very handsome. You carry yourself very well. Um, that's that's the only reason. Thank you. The interesting thing is I don't smoke myself. I prefer edibles. But if someone around me were to smoke, it's totally fine. OK, yeah. so I'm pretty straight and narrow. I've never I don't smoke. I don't drink much at all. Mm -hmm. Don't I've never done an edible. <laughs> um, it's but, fun. but yeah, that's just that's that's me. <laughs> okay. OK, understood. Thank okay. you. Oh, I missed. How old did she say she was? Let me back this up for a minute. I missed that. On eight. Self, I prefer edibles, but uh, if someone around me. That's, I'm gonna go too far. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, is she your type though? She is. 
Wow. Yeah, I just want to know what that lady's right. age is. She, she looks she's older. She's like a uh, yes, I will go back. I know okay. middle school a few teacher that also popped their balloons here. Like, why are you uh, here? These two ladies, let's go ahead and figure out why they're Jordana, Jordana that, correct? That Jordana, older yes. lady body. Jordana. Yes, I'm Jordana. I'm 33. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't feel like there's 33. anything wrong with your preference of smoking, but I am not a smoker. Um, so that's that's what weed or cigarettes just oh. is not it's not for me <laughs> but you're very handsome you carry yourself very well um that's that's the only reason thank you the interesting thing is i don't smoke myself i prefer edibles but if someone around me were to smoke it's totally fine okay yeah. so i'm pretty straight and narrow never i don't smoke i don't drink much at all mm. don't i've never done an Nothing. edible you don't do anything <laughs> um, it's but, fun. but yeah that's just that's, that's <laughs> me <laughs> Okay. okay. Understood. Maybe she needs an edible. All right. Let's go ahead and move forward. Yes. Hi. My name is Ray, and I'm 30 years young. Mm-hmm. Um, I popped the, sa- the balloon as well. Pretty much same reasons. I'm not big into marijuana, no edibles, okay. no smoking. I hardly drink. So just not for me. But, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not going to yuck your yum. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's crazy how they come on here and try to be holy rollers. Not the religious type, but I don't do this. I don't do that. And she looked like she's about 18. Like she she definitely aging well. But the outfit, the sneakers with it, she doesn't like she's 31. She looked like she's probably 24 or something like that. And her voice, it sounded like a little girl. So I would never take her serious anyway, being an older guy. It's like you just sound like a child. I mean, just being honest. But they all got that little I don't do this and ugh. Like the uh, elf out of here, man. But, okay. Now, I mean, apart from that, mm-hmm. I think he's a very handsome guy. I think he is, you know, seems very genuine, seems very honest and nice and everything, but not very much so my type. So All right. Um, not to be rude, but I just like a little bit more hair. Uh, you know, a little, you know. Yeah. It's a stripe. God did it. God did it. <laughs> right. But, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Okay. All right. Thank All right. you. I appreciate okay. it. Okay. So, okay. Let's let's come back. So, All right. we still have two balloons still on. So, uh, yes. there's potential potential of you finding love here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, now, we would like to get to know the ladies. So, is there any questions that you have for the ladies, the two the two ladies with their balloons on? Yes. What is a non-negotiable for you? Let's go. Let's go down. For that one, I'm not ready. Can you go to her? Okay, okay, good. Okay, uh, I don't know. Okay, so you say you don't smoke, but you do edible, so that's why I'm gonna skip that. Oh. Do you have kids? I don't have kids. Okay, so that's not one. I got none. That's usually so, a non negotiable. Right? So, your only non negotiable is kids? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, okay. Yeah. I got a cat, though. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Should have never said that. You would have found out. I don't like cats. I'm a dog girl. (laughs) Straight dog. Why do you have a cat, Chad? I don't do cats. So that's the reason why I pop my balloon. There should be no reason why you have a cat. You should be a dog guy, you know? That's fine. Got a cat. Uh, I mean, let's find out why mm-hmm. she also pops. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't. I don't do guys with cats. But that's just me. Preferably, I'm a dog girl. I mean, I have other animals too, mm-hmm. but like. I don't, I don't. Can you? Cat thing. I'm also allergic, so that's a whole okay. another aspect to Why it. Why you just like, didn't lead with I that? I can't cuddle with a person who's been cuddling with a cat. Yeah. Mm. Is but there... you're very attractive and Thank stuff. You. you put well Thank put you. together. Can I also know what's in there? It's, it looks full. Um, phone, mints, um, beard comb. Okay. No, I was just wondering. Yeah. That was it. But can you explain the uh, stereotype associated with men and cats? What is the stigma behind cats and guys? Like, I don't, it's my preference. Like, I don't really know the stigma, but like, the only pussy you should be around is mine. Um, personally, for me, I just don't do cat dads. Like, I have a dog, so like, mm-hmm. I rather take our dogs to the dog park okay. and like. To me, cats are more anti-social animals unless you have one of those rare, super cuddly cats. Mm-hmm. For me, I need like loving animals and like, yeah, that's just it. For me. Okay, understood. I appreciate you. I'm glad he asked that question because a lot of women, especially our black women, come up with these stereotypes for black men that we can't have this, we can't do this, or we sassy, or we feminine, or whatever. Plenty of guys, cats. 
we grew up with cats. I don't have any as an adult and like that, but we grew up around. Them. So my mom loved cats and all that stuff. My sister still like cats, but she don't have them in her house when she got her own house. Um, but the thing is, cats don't require anything. You got any little stuff, they are self-sufficient. You don't have to walk them. If they want to go outside, they go to the door. You let them out. When they come back, they scratch on the door, meow until you let them back in. When they're in the house, you don't even know they're in the house. You know, now if you got two and three cats, oh, that's a lot. They all over the freaking place. But I don't, I don't understand that, man. They, they got these stereotypes for us that if we do so many things, we're not a real man. And that's the thing that gets me with all this. That's the part. You're not a real man if you do this. But y'all ladies got cats and dogs everywhere. So with us, if you single with dogs, then that's, you know, that's what they say. You're going to die along with dogs. And if you got cats, well, I should call you a cat lady. You see what I'm saying? So we'll never get anywhere with that. But y'all got all these stereotypes where we can't do all this stuff. And then when he acts, you can't even answer it. The explanation. I mean, apart from that, is he also your type, though? He's attractive. Yeah. He's attractive. What about you? You see your type? Chills. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay. I, I, I'm glad that you love your animal, though. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Of course. Okay. All right. Let's, let's bring right. it back. Let's bring it back. So... Unfortunately, all the ladies have popped their balloon. Mm -hmm. um, you know, unfortunately, you weren't able to find love here. But is there any last remark or anything that you want to say before? I appreciate you all for being here. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you spending some time with me, and uh, wish I would have found a connection with you. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. So you're the one. Wow. She's the one that you were going for. I was. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I can get rid of the cat. So. Oh, she's gonna get rid of the cat. <laughs> I ain't gonna front. That was a little. That was a sucker move on my part. I, I probably ain't gonna give up the cat, but I wanted to see if she was accepting of getting her balloon back and maybe you know, oh, you know, filling me out. Oh, dude, I'm gonna take one for the but team. Not F that. Oh, that is. Like, I'll take one for the team. I get rid of this. Oh. He'll get rid of the cat for you. No, he would be taken care of for sure. Yeah. That was okay. funny. They would say, like, nah, I'm a sucker for Okay. That All right. So, again, thank you very much for coming. Appreciate um, We'll make sure that yeah, we she's a nice you woman, for though. our next few episodes to come. Mm -hmm. um, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. All, All right. right. Appreciate Ladies, it. let's make some noise. Finally, make some noise, man. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. And and one thing on that um, that girl, that last girl, on a couple other episodes where she was talking, she asked, she's really a cool chick. Now, she's nice looking and all that, but she's real down-to-earth cool chick. And so... I mean, I don't know what was the thing, but but she's to me, she was cooling all the other girls when I listened to her when she talked to some other stuff. But other overall, like some of these girls are saying stuff. Like the girl tried to attack his bag and all that, and, and she's sitting there with this square body. You know, let's be real. Look like she's about forty five years old, talking like somebody's auntie, and then you get mad when he said the little thing about you, but. That's where it goes, man. So let's check out the next one, man. I, I forgot who I had on this one. Man. So. All right, ladies, are y'all ready for the next single, man? Yeah! All right, I love it. I love it. I love, I love the energy. And now for the audience, we'll like for you all to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Again, like, share, subscribe to this channel for a chance to win 50 free dollars. Yes, go ahead and do that right now. Before I bring out the next single man. Ladies, let's make some noise for the next single man. That girl, the first girl is super thick. God, dog, her bottom half is big. All right. Who do we have here? Can you say your name and age? My name is Mike. I'm 41. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mike, 41. Um, what is your occupation? I'm a doctor. Okay, Mike wow. 41, he's a doctor. Yeah. Okay, um, now, what brings you here today? Off the bat. Just a chance for looking for love, you know. It's hard to find out here, being rigorous schedule. I'm already established and stuff, so, I mean, I'm just looking for somebody to share life experiences with. Okay, all right. Okay, I love that. Now, do you have any um, deal breakers? Yeah, women with young kids. Mm. 
Okay, why is that? Can you elaborate? Uh, I have adult children, so I don't uh, like. I'm at a, age, a point in my life where I don't have time to be re-raising kids. So. Okay. Okay. I mean, we have some pops here. Let's go ahead and figure out why they popped the balloon. All right. Balloon, all right. Okay. Fine. All right. Can you please introduce yourself, your name, and age, and why you popped the balloon? I'm Jordana. I'm 33. Um, I have younger children. Um, my son's about to turn four. Okay. So. Okay. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Now. Now, now she said children, but she only named like like called out one. So I wonder how many she has. Apart from that, is he a typical type? Um, you are very handsome. Uh, you seem very well put together, and I love that you are stable in life. Um, it's just my kids are my world, so that would that's a big deal to be. me. I will ask how many. Now, is Jordana also your type? No. She, she, she's an attractive woman. No. <laughs> She's a that's 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 polite. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Can you please introduce yourself, your name and age? Yeah. Hi. My name is Ray. I'm 30 years young. Um, I pop my balloon because I don't have kids and I really want to be a mom. I want kids and you don't have that space in your time to do that. So I don't think it's a good fit. But I she sounds like a child. She really sounds like a child. Even when she started talking, it just kind of irked me. Uh Practice growing up. That's what you need to do. Practice growing up. That, no, I don't, I don't know. You must hang around young people, man, kids or something. I think you're really handsome, and I think you have some good, uh, well, you have a really good lady over there, so. Um, but he said he didn't want kids, and that's a deal breaker for me, because I do want kids. I want at least three, maximum. Um, but then I got a little bit confused, because then he said something about having kids. So then I was like, wait, do you want kids? Do you not want kids? And I don't know if he was... I don't know if you're just kind of going around in circles or something. That's called not paying attention. Um, he has older kids. He's not looking to raise somebody else's kids right now, smaller kids. But you got to talk and got to ask questions. If he got married, would he want to have kids with his wife? That's stuff you got to ask. But they don't they don't think like that. So but either way, this is a doctor now. A doctor. Y'all saying he look good and all this. He's sporting a white suit. You know, it's hard to sport a whole white. And and he got it, man. Got the white sneaker with the red trim on the back. Hey. But they say they want all this stuff. These polished men. And then when these polished men step in front of them, you get all this. Okay. Um, I mean, is she your type? Well? She's a beautiful lady as well. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Yeah. So that's, he getting polite. So, hi, my name is Maya, and I'm 31. So you are very handsome. I like your whole entire look. I only pop my balloon because you say you don't want, well, you don't have time to raise anymore. I don't have kids, and I want one. So, or you know, so that would be the only thing. Yeah, I'm trying to retire. I'm basically retired now and I just want to travel the world. I respect that. I mean, still call me if you want to travel, but I can't. I want kids. Oh, call you when you want to travel? If you want to travel, but you know, I want kids down the line. So, so I guess why you know, the, other the travel when I'm ready to settle down behind like, so it's like no cool. end. Cool. Oh, now for travel buddies. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. There you go. Being travel buddies. That's cool. We got, I'm always looking for a travel buddy. Yeah. I get wild, so. <laughs> That's what's up. Right. <laughs> so, so, okay. Now, see, they ready to bail out for travel. That's one thing a lot of these girls going to say. You ask them what they like. Uh, like eating. So what's your hobbies? Eating, shopping, and traveling. But then you ask them where you like to eat. They can't really tell you. Where you like to shop, they go straight for the, the top name brand. And where you like to travel, well, anywhere. They ain't been nowhere. Majority hadn't been anywhere. So they name these three things like it's a hobby, but hobbies are things that you do. Not things that you go out and buy and eating. Eating is a hobby. No, come on. Let's move on. All right. Uh oh. Here she goes. My name is Camilla. I popped my balloon. Oh, I'm 35. <laughs> it was perfect with the age and everything, you know, your profession. Sounds good. But I have a child that's also grown, but I do want to, like, another one. I only have one, so no. respectfully. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Well, you might. Wow. You see your type of She's a beautiful lady. There's a lot of beautiful ladies up there. Mm -hmm. wow. 
Nah, oh, he goodness. won't. Get it's just unfortunate. Okay, let's move on. Now you know it's the guys do not say anything disrespectful to these women, but these women will find something to say. Now that lady, she's 35. He just talked to. She's saying she still want to have another kid. Now she's already in the danger zone with that. How? What age? I mean, what at 38, 30? You got to meet someone. You got to get with them. Hopefully, get married. And have a, you know, and then have this child. So maybe three, maybe four years from now. So you're looking at close to 39, 40 years old, unless you just want to pop one out, which nobody wants to do, you know, just to have a kid. But it's just weird to me. Like you could be with someone that's well established. And but I don't know. Y'all end up with some bomb just to have a kid. Hi, I'm Kiki. I'm 30. Um, for me, I think it was just the age a little bit more so than anything. I think I want someone a little bit closer to my age because I don't have kids and stuff. 30. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just want something a little closer. I pretty much since you had kids, you looked like a well put together man, so you probably are a great father and all. But I just want to start new, and he's over it. He, he said he's no more kids, yeah. so. I feel him yeah, on I that. A lot of life, you know, three tours in Iraq. I got like gotcha. five degrees. I'm done, You're a busy man. Done I appreciate it. Life. I and I love that you life. kept the weight clean. Thank That's very thank impressive. You, thank you. Thank you. I know you're feeling, bro. Hi. Yes, my name is Tia. I'm 32. Um, I only pop. I like like everything. You you would be my type, but um, you don't want any more kids, so. That's a deal breaker for me. It's one of the biggest reasons out here. It's one of the biggest reasons to be single. Everybody wants more kids. Right. All right, let's let's come back. Let's come back. Okay, so we have a lady that pops later on. I mean, I would like to know, right? Because you waited till the end to right. pop your balloon. Why did you pop your balloon and why did you wait? Totally yeah. Um, I was just trying to like hear him out. I like his fit. I like that he has a great career. But I'm an entrepreneur myself, so we probably won't connect like that and have time for each other. He's you a know? doctor. But um, everything else, which was it was more with his delivery when he was saying like how he's a doctor, because I have doctors in my family and like the energy didn't give me really doctoring. So that kind of like triggered me internally, you know, because I'm very spiritual. Great, you know. Mm. Was that the dumbest answer you can ever hear? Because you have doctors in your family. He didn't give you doctorish feelings or something. This is why a lot of you ladies are single, man. No lie. I ain't trying to be that type of dude. But this is why a lot of you are single, because y'all have these little icks that we don't understand. And you guys have these little things He's a doctor. I don't know what he's supposed to do and how he's supposed to what come in and act or whatever, but I, I just don't get it. And he's military. And so, like me, I'm retired. So a lot of things I don't want to do no more. Like starting over, family's not. No, no, no. I wouldn't want to do all that stuff. My kids are grown. That's the best part about it. I'm retired. I don't have to do with nothing if I don't want to do it. I'm set right now. So, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Let's see. We wouldn't have time, but you wouldn't know to find. You wouldn't know to find out if we have time. Like I'm an entrepreneur, I own a business, I own a restaurant and a hotel. And you're a doctor. And I'm a doctor. And you're always away, probably, and mm-hmm. can't give me time. But it, you say you're an entrepreneur. You, you busy? Go get no. your balloon back. I'm doing what you're doing. <laughs> okay, okay. Would, I mean, would you like to get your balloon back? I don't know. I kind of want to see what else is there. Yeah. See, there <laughs> it is. What else is there? What there it is. To... And the other one. I mean, do you? Would you like? But he's fine chance? though. Like I like a doctor. He owns a, uh, three three more businesses and a doctor. And she said, "I'm gonna wait and see what else walked from back there." What is, man? I'm telling you. I know it's, I can't do the joke of the hotel where the people keep going to the floor and floor and floor and floor till they get to the top. That's what they're talking about right there. No matter what somebody comes out, be polished, you always think it's one more out there that's just better that's going to want you. And you'll end up with nothing. This is so crazy, man. Good God. Everything about him. And then he was saying like... um. 
how he owns businesses and stuff like that. And that was cool and stuff. But then he didn't want kids and I want to have more children. And it was just like he was just like putting barriers on things before even hearing what's on the table. Like mm. I would talk to him like that. Okay. But I don't feel like he would have time for me. Like so people make time for the things they want. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, and I want more kids. You don't want no more kids. I, mean, I didn't say I don't want more kids. I just said if it was to happen, I would have to be like married or something or See, didn't like, I do say it the that? right way and didn't I say that? No, I did say it. y'all didn't let me get, y'all didn't let me get right. a Nobody to explain asked. myself. That's what happened. Y'all overreacted when he was like, just let me explain. It's all good though. All beautiful ladies. I wish y'all the best though. Okay. There it is. Man. Now again, <laughs> would you like a chance to get to know him further? And I, don't know. I, I know you don't. You, you haven't asked him any questions. I have. Do you have any questions for him? Thank you. Do you have oh. kids? I said that already. How many? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> older yeah, children. Yeah. I'm asking him how many. I have older children. I just leave it at that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm right. good. Right. Now I want to see what else is coming out. Because I like my man to be able to respond to me when I ask him something. Mm. So that's a turn off for me. Okay. okay. All right. Let well, that go. You, bro. Let that go. That? Let that go. Everybody Look at that gun popping, man. You know, sure. Everything doesn't happen the way you want it to happen. You ask a question, I give a direct response. It, it, once you start getting into the, the specifics and it goes down a rabbit hole and then it's just, I mean, once you already pop the balloons, like, right. So if you do or you don't, they okay. just keep now, asking all these is she questions. she's a typical type? Like, is she somebody who for She's a beautiful woman. Number of beautiful women up here. You right. Know what I mean? Okay. Like, y'all did y'all thing. Y'all uh -huh. got the ladies up here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. In so other words, again, it's unfortunate peace out, ladies. you weren't able to find your person, but again, one last opportunity. Would you like to pick up your balloon? Oh my God. <laughs> no. Okay. I want to see what else is there. Okay. All right. So she don't, don't want to pick man. up her balloon. Why are you talking that is like fine. that? Um, again. I need to see what's in the ocean. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Nah, I'm telling you. <laughs> 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 no one me. Like, I mean, that's so hard. That's, that's how most women in today's society. Tend to think there's always exactly. going to be somebody better, like somebody good enough or better right in front of them, but they want to go out there and push like, wow, he's hey, right. He is absolutely hey, correct. Yo. Promotion. Bruh, let it, let it go. Let it go. Let big thighs mm. keep moving all that gun popping. I know where to find you. Nah. I won't be there always. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when he told me, like, good luck with the ocean, I didn't feel like offended because i'm comfortable with who i am so like why you bring it up a person like him of his stature and what i'm reading from what i see he don't really hold no weight in my life so it wouldn't really matter to be honest i'm it makes no sense <laughs> okay <laughs> all right all right I mean, so it so makes no you weren't able to find the person here they all popped their balloon but uh, is there any last remark Nah, y'all beautiful. Keep doing y'all thing. Hopefully, y'all the kid thing work out for y'all. You know, it is what it is. Okay. All right, ladies. Let's make some noise for him. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Thank you. That is so. I tell you, man. These ladies always saying they want these top tier dudes. He's at the top. He's that one percent. And. They want things the way they want it. That's why we keep saying, you keep saying you want these guys until one gets in front of you. And then, oh, this, I he, he's not changed. He's, he's set. This man is retired. He got his business running from it. He just want to relax with somebody, probably find somebody and just chill with. He's not trying to do all this stuff y'all talking about. Now, all you girls, y'all want to have kids and y'all got small kids. Y'all, I mean, if y'all looking for a man, go ahead. But y'all never asked, would he think about having more kids if he got married? You just heard that one thing, so I have grown kids, I ain't trying to start over. And he still might, like I said, the right person come around, everybody change. Everybody change, the right person come around. But that chick on the end with all that gun popping and big swollen legs and stuff, nah. He was good. Let that one go. He let that one go. All right, guys, until the next time, that is it on this one. Definitely hit that notification bell because I'm going to be popping out a few more of these. 
I think these are hilarious, so I'm going to do a few more of them. But it's your boy, and I'm up out of here. Y'all take care. Peace. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share. And I'm out.